I'm going to be showing you what a bad IR cut filter does on a pan tilt zoom camera. So in front of me, I have a camera where supposedly the infrared or daylight video wasn't working and it was causing all sorts of video disturbances. First, during the daytime, the video was pink. And then when we got it, the daytime image was fine, but at nighttime, I don't see any IR. Uh, unfortunately, the IR cut filter on the camera broke. First, let me show you how it's supposed to be functioning properly and what you should expect out of its performance on a pan tilt zoom camera. So let's watch that first. So here we have another camera, same type, and I'm going to turn off its IR. I mean, turn on its IR by putting a tape on the photo sensor. You hear that? There's a little bit of click there. I just took off the tape. Heard that click, hopefully. There's a very audible click when the IRs turn on. Um, and if there's a proper functioning IR cut filter, you'll hear that click happen. I'm gonna now turn off the lights to show you what kind of video it sees. So, you'll see a lot of brightness here and as I move my hand close, you'll see it glowing. This is what happens when you see proper IR functioning. Let me move this out of the picture. So when you have too much IR, the camera then turns on its smart IR feature to remove overexposure. And then in the background, you can't see anything. With the other camera where there's no proper functioning IR cut filter, you don't see that happen. And then one more thing here, I'll just do a quick zoom test. So PTZs usually have a IR function, especially if they have a lot of IR to change which IRs are actually on or adjust their intensity. As you can see, you can completely see this brick wall being very bright. And that IR gets adjusted in terms of intensity. Now the boxes in the front are brighter and the background is dark. I'm gonna show you what a non-working IR cut filter on a PTZ and you'll see what happens when your IR cut filter doesn't work. Now, coming back to the camera that I started the video with, I have it here sitting and I'm gonna show you how its IR cut filter performs. I'm gonna do the same test, put some tape on the top and let's listen to it quietly. You don't hear any audible clicks when that IR comes off, uh, comes on and then I'm gonna remove the tape Let's see when the IR goes away, does the click happen or not? Nothing at all. So the lack of that audible click from the IR cut filter tells me this camera has a malfunctioning IR cut filter. Now, if you were to look at the camera during nighttime, I'm going to turn off the lights. So the way I know this has a malfunctioning IR cut filter is by looking at stuff farther away. See, as I try to zoom in to my brick wall, it's all darkness. The reason for that is it's not able to properly see IR. See, that's not even focusing properly. I can't even show you that wall over there because of that. So that's how I know that the IR cut filter on this camera is not working because one, I don't hear the audible click on the IRs turning on and off and I can't see the, the IR performance that I was getting out of this camera before. So if you're seeing this kind of image at nighttime that's grainy from your cameras, it could even be a stationary camera, most likely your IR cut filter is malfunctioning if your IR LEDs are still on, or if um, maybe if your IR LEDs are not on, then your IR LEDs are malfunctioning. Hopefully this helps you troubleshoot your camera a little bit better. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.